Uh, hello everyone and welcome to Building Education Technology. Uh, dear friends, today I brought you a very good and new topics. I hope all of you will love this one. This topic is going to be very useful for working engineers as well as for students. So what's that? Let us see and explore. And hi, uh, this is uh, me. My name is Protein River and welcome back to my channel again. Okay, now let's proceed ahead. So today's topic is concrete technology questions and answer. So it's very interesting, right? So you are going to get uh, questions and answers for concrete technology. Okay, so I hope you love this video and I expect that you will um, share this video as much as you can and if you like my videos don't forget to give like comments and definitely do subscribe to my channel to get such type of videos in future and at last I would request you to uh, share this video okay so without any further delay let us move ahead and see what is there in store for you. Basically, <clears throat> I have seven uh, questions and answers uh, on concrete and te uh, concrete technology. Okay, so <clears throat> now we will see one by one what are those. All right, uh, let's see what is the first questions. Okay, this is the most basic and common questions, but you have to know most of the people though it's very common and basic questions. Some of them have no I mean proper idea how they can answer these questions and answer. Okay, so let's see what is there. The answer can be given like this. Uh, RCC or reinforced cement concrete. Okay, RCC means reinforced cement concrete. All right. So it's a composite building materials mixture which is obtained by mixing some inert materials like sand chips with cement by adding required amount of water and by embedding steel with. As we all know, that RCC means reinforced cement concrete. All right. Hmm. So it's a basically what it's a composition of uh, cement and some inert material inert materials like which doesn't react with cement such as sand chips okay and then we add some required amount of water okay and, uh, and with that there will be steel along with the concrete mixture that one is known as uh, RCC okay so question can be uh, asked for you by your interviewer or in your um, subjects okay uh, like what is RCC or what do you mean by reinforced cement concrete okay so if there is such type of question then you can give answer like this all right I hope you understood that one now let us move to next questions question number two what are the materials required to use in RCC structure? It's very busy, this one also. Okay. But it's very important to know what are the materials required to use in RCC structure. Okay. Now let us see what are the materials required. So the primary materials required to produce RCC are cement, fine aggregate, which is also known as sand uh, in common language, and coarse aggregate, stone chips, water and steel okay these are the primary uh, materials that you require to produce rcc structure okay <clears throat> so it's very simple to understand okay no need much explanations here now straight away let us move to question number three so question number three is which type of fine aggregate is used in rcc okay yes it's also very important to know which type of aggregate is used in RCC? Okay. 
प्रोडक्ट्स द फाइन एग्रीगेट व्हिच लाइज इन जोन नंबर 2 एज पर आईएस कोड ओके शेल बी यूज्ड फॉर आरसीसी वर्क एंड द फाइन एग्रीगेट व्हिच पासेस थ्रू आईएस शिप नंबर फॉर इट टी शेल बी यूज्ड एंड द पार्टिकल साइज शुड नॉट बी मोर देन 4.75 mm इट शेल सॉरी इट शेल आल्सो बी फ्री फ्रॉम सिल्ट clay salt and other organic matters okay it's very it's very clear and uh, answer i have explained it i have written it in, uh, in a very simple and lucid manner okay i have if i don't give any explanation also it will be clear for you from the answer itself okay <clears throat> so okay let me still uh, explain to you it should not be i mean particle size should not be more than 4.75 mm okay as we know that fine aggregate is defined which passes through 4.7.5 mm ic is also yeah is also is known as fine aggregate okay so <clears throat> and then uh from purity spec so it should be free, free from silt clay salt and other organic matters because it has lots of uh, effects on our structure okay for detail you can study yourself what are the effect that we have if we have such kind of impurities okay so i'm just basically answering this uh, which type of fine aggregate we use in rcc okay now moving on to next questions question number 4 <clears throat> uh question number 4 uh, asks about the specifications of force aggregate okay So, give specification of force aggregate to be used for RCC. See, you have to uh, like uh, if you're in site, okay, or you want to do some construction work. We, every one of us, every civil engineers, okay, should know means uh, specifications of every work. Okay, so basically, we are dealing with RCC today, concrete technology. So. Uh, we have uh, questions regarding that okay so what are the specifications of course aggregate um, is uh, needed to be used for our system so let us see and try to understand the answer in details see uh, <clears throat> the course aggregate shall be free from clay clods and other organic matters the surface should not be glossy it should be hard and not soft it should not be flaky and it should be non porous and water absorption shall not be more than 5% by weight when immersed for 24 hours okay see uh, means uh, the specification of course aggregate for uh, rcc work is that the aggregate which we are going to use for rcc work okay it should be clean and free from clay and clods and other impurities organic matters got it and the surface of that aggregate should not be glossy it should be little bit rough but it should not be soft as well it should have hard surface right and it's it should not be flaky You know what is plaque here? Okay, you have studied in your degree course or diploma course. Okay, if not, study yourself. Okay, I cannot explain you everything here because you should do your homework as well. So it should not be plaque. Okay, <clears throat> long, I mean elongated type of uh, stones. Okay, plaque means, and it should be non-porous. It should not be porous. Okay, it should have some like. Uh, water resistance type of uh, aggregates that we use in RCC and absorption of water. Okay, when immersed for 24 hours, it should not be 5% by weight. That's what it says in answer. Okay, so these are the specification of course aggregate to be used for RCC. Okay, next time whenever someone asks you course aggregate specifications. You should be able to answer. Okay. If not, refer to my these answers. All right. Now moving to next question number five. 
let's see what type of water should be used for rcc work yes those are all basic and most needed uh, questions and answers that you should know okay now let's see what type of water that we need to use for rcc okay. hmm. the water which is free from dust dirt sulfur contamination chlorides and other organic impurities should be used for rcc work okay the water should be clean and water which fit to be drinking should be used if possible see the water which we will be using for rcc work it should not have dust and dirt and sulfur in it and chloride should not be there and along with it other impurities organic impurities should not be there it is uh, the water which we are going to be used in rcc work okay so it should be free from all those things and it should be clean okay like we drink water no which is potable water which is fit for drinking okay uh, possibly it should be used okay if not if not then little bit uh, after means plus minus is okay but the water uh, ps should not be below six okay so you should remember this okay i have not mentioned here but water ph value should not be less than six it should be between six to eight okay the water which we are going to use for rcc work it should be between that value. and then it should be like uh, free from those impurities dark sulfur contamination chloride and all okay now next questions yeah it's very important questions okay i hope you are catching up what i've explained to you okay um maybe my explanation is not that good but don't mind you can just read out the question and read the answer by yourself and try to understand okay now moving on now to question number six uh why is it still used as a reinforcement in cement concrete structure very 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 important okay if someone asks you why do we use steel in cement concrete then you must be able to answer this one. okay so if you don't know the answer here is the answer for you okay the use of steel as reinforcement in concrete is due to its weak tensile strength as the concrete is weak in tension and strong in compression and it has nearly the same coefficient of thermal expansion as that of concrete and the concrete and steel can develop a good bond and makes them strong or stronger okay so what it uh, basically says is that uh, concrete is um, very much i mean weak in tension okay it has low tensile strength but it still has more tensile strength than concrete so to uh, like counter the tensile strength which comes upon concrete the reinforcement is used so that it can help the concrete to take the tensile strength effectively okay together they become strong in tension and compression zone okay whenever tension force or compression force comes then both of them will tackle okay and anyways the other reason is it has both of them i mean have the same coefficient of thermal expansion okay reinforcement i mean steel and concrete they both have same coefficient of thermal expansion now if you don't know what is coefficient of thermal expansion okay uh, you can uh, do homework of your own, okay and the concrete if they use together they can develop a good bond and make them strong okay they will um, develop a very good bond okay when it's together so these are some uh, few like reasons why reinforcement is used in cement concrete okay if you want some more uh, reason uh, 
uh, then you can study by yourself again. But this is the basic, okay? This is the basic, uh, what uh, we call reasons for using reinforcement in cement concrete. Now we have a uh, final and very simple questions. Question number seven. Let us see what is that. Okay, question number seven. Uh, it asks about which is the minimum grade of concrete for PCC and RCC. <laughs> yes, you should know this one. Okay, you should know because it will be asked in interview as well. Okay, when you apply for job, they may ask you this type of questions. And I mean, like almost all the questions that I have shown you by far, it may be asked in your exam or maybe in your interview okay so it's very important go through all the uh, questions if needed you can um, what replay and watch again the questions and answers from the beginning okay now the last question is which is the minimum grade of concrete for pcc and rcc i hope all of you know this but for those who does know it's for them so let us see the minimum grade of concrete for PCC is M15 and the minimum grade of concrete for RCC is M20. Okay. It is as per the IS code for 56-2000. Hmm. And if you need some more information regarding PCC and RCC and what is M20 or, or, or M15, uh, I will make separate video for that. Okay. Don't worry. But uh, you just understand this one now okay so this brings to the end of our video okay i hope you have you like this videos and if you want uh, such kind of informations okay then do subscribe to my channel and please visit my official website okay that is www.buildingeducationtechnology.com you can visit this one the uh, okay we have just released this website okay we are developing so you can find some very like useful information here as well so finally i request to all of you to share this video give like and then subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and relatives okay we were a civil i mean who is civil engineer you can share with them so thank you for watching building education technology Please like and share and subscribe to my channel. Love you all. Thank you.